Everybody was okay. Yep. This is Diego Castillo, former Tampa Bay Ray, really successful in the big leagues with Tampa Bay and in Seattle over the last few years. I mean, look at the walks to strikeout. My goodness, 75 strikeouts, only five walks. This guy just pounds his own with some pretty good stuff. 278, his earned run average in 61 games. And yeah, that's his weapon of choice, the slider. It is a good one. I mean, 75 punch outs, five walks. You're going to have to earn your way on base with Castillo. Listed at 6'3", 250. Might be able to put 260 on that card with those two big old gold chains he's got around his neck. <laughs> He's big boy. 16 saves a year ago, 14 in Tampa, two with Seattle. We talked about Kendall Graveman, who is now with the Chicago White Sox a couple of days ago. Graveman was as perfect as it gets in the Mariners' bullpen, and the Mariners ended up trading him midseason to Houston, and it was met with a lot of criticism within the clubhouse for Seattle because Graveman was such a great presence and, and again his performance was outstanding and because of that kind of divide I think that's what led to Jerry Depoto going out and getting a guy like Diego Castillo. Mm -hmm. Got to replace him somehow right? Yeah, the bullpen was pretty good last year. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mariners. It's all to the right side. Easy play, and that's the first out of the inning in the bottom of the fifth. Their bullpen was spot on. Former Marlin Drew Steckenrider kind of solidified things the back end of the bullpen. A lot of hard throws, a lot of young kids on the way, too. Seattle's still trying to get Waukesha product, Jared Kelnick, to where he should be production wise had a really tough first year in the big leagues showed some struggles but one guy who's more than likely going to be on the opening day roster and if all things go right could be a rookie of the year candidate mm -hmm. Julio Rodriguez man he is a young and superstar in the making that ballpark in Seattle pretty fair as far as you know pitching and you got to hit him pretty good to get it out of the ballpark not like the old kingdom back in my day. I used to love the kingdom. What was it that made it so great? I don't know. I saw the ball pretty well there. As opposed to the Metrodome. But, you know, those domes back there, sometimes some guys just couldn't see the ball very well. I remember Richie Zisk when he was playing for Seattle. He said he'd get ready for a home series. He'd walk around his house without his lights on at night. <laughs> <laughs> to get my eyes adjusted to the dome, but you know, they had some pretty good pitching back in those days. Mark Langston, and Mike Moore, guys like that, they could bring it. As I digress. Seattle, that was before the Randy Johnson era. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody forgets that Randy Johnson started with the Expos before going to Seattle. Wong hits one in the air to deep right. Trammell back at the track, and Colton Wong has left the building. Third home run of the day for the Brewers' offense. They've got their first lead, 5-4. And none of them took very long to get out of the ballpark, even that one. Colton Wong dropping a head on it. And he pull it out of here to right. Check out how quick this bat is on a pitch that's trying to get away from. Doesn't do it. And he just golfs it on out of the ballpark. Nice high finish. Good backspin and carries on out of here. Colton Wong, his first home run of the spring. He's had a, a really efficient spring at the plate. It's a nice Colton Wong-esque play last half inning, the jump throw. I think he was working on something there because, as you mentioned, he had to play at second base to make it a little easy. Sure. 
working on things. Yeah. Now's the time to try it out. Force had it second a little too easy. <laughs> Must be nice just to bring that out when you need it. Kane slaps one foul right side. We talked about Andrew McCutcheon and his effect on this team. Two home runs today, one to right, one to left. Bubble wrap. Get him ready, put him on the truck. Mm -hmm. O2 hit foul again. Yeah, these uh, position players, they don't need a whole lot of time to get ready. I think the three weeks is just perfect. Major League Baseball is going to allow teams to break camp with 28 players as opposed to 26 through the end of April. It's a smart decision yeah, with the short is. spring. Yep. Especially on the pitching side. Last check swing from Lorenzo Kane. Foul ball, I should say. Trying to work things out maybe on his left hand, left wrist. And then fouled away. Looks all right to me. Yep. Pretty good hack. who dealt with quad issues last year of course he only played six games in the short 2020 season open for a full workload this year one two two and two final year of his contract got to keep him healthy I think it's uh, you know not going to be a tough thing for council to manage his playing time with all the outfielders they have that's where the DH really comes into play too you know, the guy play defense only hit check swing denied Craig in years past has used that DH in the American League ballparks just to give guys a, a day off their feet. I yeah. think he'll do it the same. He won't have to have a dedicated DH every day. It makes it a little tougher to get production out of your designated hitter because that's a position that uh, is a lot tougher than people think. Good walk by Lorenzo Kane. A couple of tough pitches to lay off, and he did it. Stuck with the slider and just not able to throw it for strikes, and Lorenzo was able to lay off. Willie Adamas coming up, got robbed of a hit his last time. Nice diving play by Padlow at third. Let's see if Castillo can hang a slider here and see how far Willie can hit it. Our former teammates in Tampa Bay. Challenged him. 95 right down Broadway. A little movement on it, too. Not straight. There's Adamas. Tried. Had a good pitch to hit. High towering fly into shallow center. Hamilton racing in to make the catch. That was the hanging slider, too. He gave him one just a little out in front of it. Pop it up. A fastball in the first pitch took it, then got the slider and just missed it. Quite, quite in the sun. Making sure his second baseman gets out of the way and able to haul it in. Saw him early in tracking that fly ball, just moving his body, trying to get his eyes away from that sun. Right. Cloud cover disappeared. Here's Hira, first at bat for him. This spot in the lineup's been pretty productive. 
Two homers from Andrew McCutcheon. Kesson out in left field today. The second time we've seen him out in left field this spring. Remember last year, essentially won a game for the Brewers playing in left field in an emergency role. Ended up getting the game winning hit. Walk off sacrifice fly against the Rockies, but he made a nice catch in left to get the Brewers there. Right. Adding more tools to the tool belt. These guys can play just about anywhere. Except, of course, maybe behind a home plate. Hira towards the middle. Moore's got it. Goes a short way to Haggerty, and the inning is over. Brewers take the lead. Colton Wong exit stage right. His first home run of the spring. Brewers have a 5-4 advantage as Wong leaves the yard in the fifth.